Hey y'all. The sun's about to go down. We're about to get a nice sunset here. See, there's Dolce. There's Miss Dolce. Dolce, the, um, the dominant female, Connie Corso, three years old. Dolce. And there's Tux. He's the Pitbull mix. Pitbull mix. Yeah, I recently had done a um, genetic test on Tux. Yeah, he's about 60% Pitbull, American Pitbull Terrier. Um, and with a bunch of other breeds mixed in there. Uh, but anyways, there's Dolce. And let's see, where is... The rest of the pack is over here doing a perimeter check. We live out here in the Texas Hill Country and on about a little under two acres and I had fenced it all in here and uh, and they will periodically just walk the entire perimeter and mark it with their urine and make sure it's protected. So they're wonderful guard dogs. Probably the, one of the best guard dogs you can get. That's Ozzy, he's the alpha male, kind of course so. Uh, he is, he's trying to, he's sniffing around this area where there was a, a baby deer moved here by the, the mama deer. So it's no longer here, but he, he will periodically come out here and look for it. I think he still smells it a little bit. But yeah, Ozzy is a big boy. He's 150 pounds. That's Lucia. The mini-me to Ozzy. The female version of Ozzy. But she's not so mini anymore. She's eight months going on nine months old. And see how tall she is already? Oh my goodness. She's taller than Dolce, the, the, the adult female. So I, ha I have three kind of corso and one pit bull mix there. So that's the entire pack right there, the four dogs. That's Lucia with the pretty eyes. Lucia had a cherry eye in each of her eyes, which I had removed. And it looks really, really good. Looks really good, it really fixed it, so. So, um, anyway. Just want to check in with everybody, say hi. And uh, it's starting to get hot here in Texas. It was, you know, it's reaching into the triple digits. I think it's supposed to be 106 this uh, this weekend. So, this is my Dolce. This is my Dolce. <laughs> this is my Dolce. This Tux. Yeah. Um, a lot of people were saying Tux doesn't look pit bull. Tux, what's that, Tux? Are you hungry? Are you hungry? Who's hungry? Are you hungry? See when he perks his ears up, how they flatten out? Tux, we have to go. You ready to go? Tux, you hungry? Who's hungry? He's trying to get him to, <laughs> trying to get him to move his ears again. This Luchi. Oh, look at this, y'all. See how there's a little bit of blood there? She's gonna be going into heat pretty soon here. She has a little bit of like residual blood there. I don't know that maybe like the preheat, her premenstrual cycle. I'm not sure, but I know that they go into heat around this age, around a year of age, give or take a couple months. So she's right. I would say she's. I mean, she I theoretically could go into heat any month now, but maybe it'll be a couple months. Who knows? We'll see. But yeah, those are the two females. Dolce is pretty stacked, you know. She's shorter than Lucia, unbelievably so, because Lucia is just a puppy. But Dolce is pretty stacked as far as her muscle tone. Look, I see the, see her. Isn't that amazing? I, 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 I literally say this every video. I can't believe how big Lucia is as a puppy. <laughs> it just blows my mind. 
that she's bigger than this adult female. But um, I wanted to I wanted to um, do this video for y'all to say hi, like I said, and then also I'm about to be getting a grocery delivery here. I just got the text that they're on their way, and so and I've I've posted videos of this before, you know, just. The, the guard the uh, dogs guarding in action protection in action and you'll see they'll run up to the fence and they'll bark um and usually you know if i tell them it's okay then they'll sit down and, and they'll cool it you know they won't really continue to bark ferociously uh, but what i wanted to show this particular time is lucia's reaction so previously in all the other videos and what i've noticed is the, the other, the adult kind of corsos and tucks will bark. They'll, you know, they'll do the usual, they'll, they'll run up to the fence and bark. Uh, but the puppy, Lucia is more cautious. She very rarely barks. Um, and she doesn't usually bark. Um, and I, and I think it may be because she's letting the older ones take the lead on it and she what she'll usually do is she'll run to the fence and then she'll run back to me and I don't know if she's doing that out of fear or out of checking on me if I'm okay or maybe a little bit of both um, but she she will circle around the fence to check out the scene but like I said she kind of takes a back seat so one of uh, my, one of my thoughts is that that's part of that fear stage kind of corso puppies are known to go through what's called the fear stage where you know when they're young up to adolescent up to like an adolescent you know about the age that lucia is they will be cautious and fearful of certain certain things as they're exploring and figuring out the world uh, around them so totally normal nothing to to be concerned about Ozzy went through that as well he he would be like fearful of climbing steps for example you know and he's totally fine with it now I mean he's extremely courageous now he nothing he's not afraid of anything not not a not a not one thing is he afraid of so um so I'm thinking that that may be something that Lucia grows out of as she matures and so wanted to test it out today. Let's see how she does. Okay, I, I'll, uh, I'll film that whenever the um, grocery delivery person drives up. We'll see how she does. All right, she's about to get corrected here. And she already takes the, assumes the position. She's like, all right. I know I'm bad. I know I'm wrong. I'm just going to go and go and submissive here for you. <laughs> she knows she's about to be put down in submissive position by Ozzy. Ozzy. Uh, it's, it's annoying to him. And uh, he's actually lenient with her. He'll put her down in submissive position, but usually he'll give that warning growl. And she kind of is getting a little bit better with it. She's not persisting as much as she used to. So, but uh, anyways, let me stop this video here so I don't eat up all the time on it. And then I'm gonna come back on whenever the delivery person is approaching. And, and we'll see how Lucia reacts. Usually the first one to bark is either Dolce here or Tux, the Pitbull mix. Tux is a really good um, uh, guard dog. He's the one that usually sounds the alarm. And he has certain barks, very, very, um, very unique barks, different, different types of bark that, the, that I recognize and that the, the other dogs recognize. Uh, and he very rarely will bark unless there's a need to bark. And so when he does sound the alarm, the other Corsos come running. Sometimes, you know, it depends on who's there first, closest to whatever perceived threat there is. That dog may bark first. But Ozzy usually takes the lead once the, the uh, perceived threat 
is identified by all of the dogs, Ozzy will usually back them all up and be the loudest to bark. But man, y'all, you have got to you have got to listen to Lucia's bark. Amazingly, it sounds almost identical to Ozzy's bark. And Ozzy has an extremely loud, deep, um, deep sounding bark. You can hear it a mile away. And that's what amazes me is that Lucia's bark is just, just about as loud and deep as, as Ozzy's. See, see now, uh, Dolce's bark is a little more high pitched. So yeah, so for a female and for a puppy, Lucia has an unbelievably loud, deep uh, bark. Yeah, but yeah, they're just doing their play fighting right now. So I will, uh, I'll stop this for a second and then come back on when, when the delivery person gets here. Yeah, I'm trying to make. <laughs> She's like, oh, mm, go, mm, go. I ain't having that trying to get fresh yeah she was not having that <sighs> ozzy sorry yo sorry oz got rejected again rejected again <laughs> there they are see what, okay now watch lucia she's the one with the the blue collar on <laughs> She's alert. She's second up there next to Dolce. She's checking it out. Oh. Hey. <coughs> Let's see how she breaks and she comes toward me. Ozzy. It's okay, baby. Come on, Oz. Yeah, I told him it's okay, so he's kind of chilling. But see, she noticed she never barked. Okay, I'm sorry. It's okay, Papa. Uh, Cane Corso, Italian Mastiff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah see, Dolce usually takes the assertive lead. So, but okay, so I did notice a little bit of difference. She, um, she did come closer to the fence. She, she did kind of, like last time, come towards me a little bit, but this time... She came up to the fence next to Dolce, and then she ran to the opposite side, maybe to get a better look or something. I don't know, because Dolce also ran over there. So she, she kind of like uh, will emulate Dolce a little bit. <sighs> yeah, but notice how Dolce is very, very assertive. She, uh, she will usually kind of like run back and forth. And what's interesting is she'll kind of uh, knock. Ozzy kind of to the side like almost as if to say I've got this this is I'm taking the lead uh, but they they pretty much all know that Ozzy really takes the lead he's the alpha uh, and if uh, and if Dolce does that really assertively then uh, Ozzy will put Dolce back down into a submissive so um but yeah, Dolce, you know, it's, it's said that female kind of corso are very, very protective. Uh, and, and they definitely are. So, see, Lucia is very alert. Very curious and alert. See, she's following with her eyes, making sure that that car is leaving. And there, and there goes the car. And see, she's running after it. Just to make sure, I think, she's running after where the car is. So... Whereas Ozzy is like, okay, he's gone. I know he's gone, so we're good. Um, so, okay. I think that we are seeing a little bit of a change in Lucia. She's coming out of her shell. She's starting to feel her protective um, role. 
Um, it's, you know, it's said that you do not have to train Kane Corso to be protective. Once they reach adulthood, they're like 100% where they need to be. Um, I like to say that they're born protective in protective mode, and, and they pretty much are. Um, but I'm thinking that with Lucia, because of the pack dynamic, because she's the youngest of a bunch, you know, a bunch of adult dogs, she kind of takes a little bit of a backseat. Whereas if she was my only dog, she'd probably be showing a little bit more protection, uh, as far as barking more and things like that, but, but still very protective. And, um, I've, I've seen her bark, uh, whenever there was like a, a big dog approaching us, she barked and that's when I heard how loud her bark actually is. Um, but I kind of like that she doesn't bark excessively. Most Connie Corso re don't really bark excessively. They bark when there's a real need to, you know, when there's potential threat coming, but Anyway, yeah, I hope you're having a good night. And uh, I'm going to get these groceries in. Good boy, Oz. Hey, that was a good boy. Good boy, Papa. Good boy, Papa. Okay. But I want to show you all my sunflowers. Sunflower farm over here. Isn't that gorgeous? Beautiful. These are like 10 foot sunflowers. Alright y'all, well we'll see y'all on the next one. Hope y'all having a good night and uh, I'll talk to y'all later. Okay, us. Who's hungry? Let's go. Come on, Papa. Good boy. <laughs> good boy.